Sprinter, get on the right flank. Dancer, get on that 50. You're so cute, man. You're having a good time over here. Ho, ho, ho. Great job. I used to have a semi auto. What's up, guys? And look at this. you know what I'm saying? It's a Soviet Santa. Soviet Santa. Yeah. That's fun. Anyway, hey, we're about to roll into some five gun mistakes made in Hollywood. Oh, that's cool. If you would like to stick around and. No, actually, I was supposed to be flying over Pakistan about 10 minutes ago, so I'll see y'all later. Merry Christmas? Yeah. Well, M Merry Christmas, guys. Let's go ahead and roll into those gun mistakes made in Hollywood. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Clint here today with Classic Firearms. We've got Kaya back with us. What's up, guys? And we've got a pretty fun video. Yep. Because uh, if you're a movie goer like me, um, you're probably one of those type that sit in front of the TV. You might have your significant other, friend, whomever sitting next to you. And if it's a- Or uh, alone. Or you might like, be alone. And maybe you're just talking to yourself. Yeah. Like you. <laughs> yes. Maybe one day you'll have friends. Maybe. Um, uh, Maybe. But in the meantime, when you're talking to yourself, do you ever just look and you see like sights missing from a gun or somebody trying to cock a Glock or take the safety off of a Glock or something? Or just you know? Keep firing or just and never firing. reloading. Right, you yeah. start nitpicking all these little inconsistencies or absolute mistakes that Hollywood makes when it comes to firearms. We're here to talk about five mistakes, some of the five worst mistakes Hollywood has done with firearms. But before we start talking about this, just wanna let you guys know, we are gonna be featuring some footage and content that is not ours and we're not associated with any of the production companies or distribution companies whatsoever. We're just gonna be taking a look at some of their screw ups. And for our number five mistake, which kind of, if you know what's actually happening, isn't really a mistake, but that's why it's a little bit lower on the list and I think it's kind of cool. Shooter, in the movie Shooter, old Marky Mark there is on a Barrett M82. Uh, shortly after his, spoiler alert, shortly <laughs> after his buddy yeah. gets clapped by the uh, helicopter, uh, that was, he was using an M4 with a grenade launcher and the distances that he was shooting to, I don't know if the grenade launcher, Yeah. Uh, there's, some, there's some questions. But anyway, that's not the problem. The problem is, it could be argued that the type of rounds that Mark Wahlberg was shooting through the Barrett M82 perhaps didn't have enough pressure to make the gun cycle. Because if you notice, this is a semi-auto, magazine-fed, recoil-operated firearm. Every time he pulls the trigger, that bolt should be coming back, going forward, chambering the next round, being able to pull that trigger again. And what you'll notice actually, there's one like really finite clip. We can actually see it kind of jam, right? Yeah, but he, but yeah. he clears it and it goes forward. Yeah. And so that's just because in the movie making process, the blanks that they were using quite simply didn't have enough pressure to actually make the gun cycle like a real round would. So Mark Wahlberg actually was clearing the malfunction while he was shooting, which I thought was uh, kind of a cool you, thing. You would think they would, edit that out, like just show the Yeah, sight. I but think they did a pretty good job. I mean, look. Realistic. Like, right? Yeah, like yes. for instance, dude, you saw how long it took us to do that with oh the 249? God, yeah. Yeah. And that was just a basic intro, right? right? Now they're doing a full on film production and I think they took the, what, what footage they had and made it work. Because, yeah. you know, it'd be like, yeah. boom, he pops and then it would show, you know, the helicopter either yeah. getting missed or sparks subtly flying. Blowing up. Yeah, you know, well, at it's one point it finally hits yeah, right. <laughs> you know, so it's kind of like, okay, I feel like to be made a little bit more damage. I mean, but at the same time, uh, it was just an interesting scene. I saw that and I was like, okay. There's also a couple other scenes too. Uh, like, does the 22 really have the potential to, you know, do you remember uh, he's coming in on the boat? Oh, that's right. And yeah, he's got the, the, uh, the soda can yeah, yeah. filled with some stuff. Now, I don't know if it's legal, if I should say this or not. But I'm just gonna say it. Um, I when I was growing up, I used to make my own silencers, but they would be, you know, they wouldn't last long. I used yeah. to take film canisters, fill them with um uh, with um uh, steel wool. Steel wool. There yeah. it is. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. Uh, steel wool. Tape them together. Yeah. Tape it to the end of my 22, and then go shooting. I don't know if that's illegal or not. But also, I was a minor at the time, and maybe I maybe I didn't actually do it. So you know. But uh, with I mean, that if being it is said, illegal. They know where to find you. <laughs> so, but would a 22 that he was shooting, you know, actually have the type of, maybe it was a 22 win match, I, I don't know, but I'm just saying, there's a couple of other questionable things, yeah. but overall, the movie did its job, which was entertain me, so. 
With that being said, let's roll into our number four pick. For our number four pick, uh, Kyle kind of likes this one because it has something to do with the FBI or something. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the movie's called The Town. Yeah. The FBI agent in that movie, John Hamm, yeah. is following a yeah. police officer impersonator, a criminal. Yeah, yeah. so Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Renner. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And he's got a shotgun in his hand. Something like this, but I think it was yeah. Remington 870. Yeah. So, first of all, the FBI never, like, you don't do just by yourself a surveillance like that, especially in that situation. Uh, you, that would be a SWAT team thing. They would have it operate, a, a, they would have it all planned for that one. Yeah. But if agents were gonna do it, they would still do it with multiple bodies. So, so right? it makes sense what you're saying, right? Because I feel like if you see one guy that's making away with how many, I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars of cash, he's probably armed, as yep. we will soon find out, mm -hmm. and you see him kind of walking away, and you, you know, you know, you've been tracking this guy for yep. months now and everything else, and this is like, I want this guy, yep. right? And so you're, first of all, you are at the scene with a bunch of your buddies and everything, and then you notice this, and then you walk off by yourself. I feel like, I feel like a, dude, dude we gotta go, right? Absolutely. Or backup or whatever, right? Yep. You know, uh, something along those lines. Dude. But that's not even what we're talking about. Exactly. I mean, we would have surveillance team keep an eye on the guy, the, yep. just direct the other guys, the SWAT guys would go Please on, tell me more and keep stuff. going so, into, like, go into anyways, more detail, actually. Just tell me more what you guys would... It's it's not a secret. But just anyways, want to know. let's just talk about this. All right. So he's got a Remington uh, 870 in his yeah. hand, and he's telling the guy to stop, and then he only does this. Like this is like it. Short strokes the hell out of it. I mean, yeah. just. Yeah. But somehow, you get this yeah. out of that one. It's called is, editing. Yeah. <laughs> and you can clearly see it in a Hollywood blockbuster production like that. You yeah. could catch that one or get a consultant for that one. Yeah. But another horrible part is that same scene. Same scene. Yeah. In that same scene, you see Jamie Renner with a Tech 9. <laughs> even though it's a Tech 9, he turns around and he's probably, what, not even like 15, 20 feet away yeah. from John Hamm at that point. He turns around and he just starts spraying. And I'm, I mean, so, I'm sorry, but let's say he's from here to like even where the doorway is, and I've got a full auto nine mil, and if I'm shooting from the hip right here, I feel very confident that I'm at least putting some rounds into that door. Dude, but I, gra I, I granted, John Hamm was a quick dude. I mean, he was able to outrun those bullets and get behind the car and somehow yeah, managed it. He, he's trained to be quick. Keep going. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> He but misses just, every single every round. Every single round. And then into the ground and everything. And then he like starts shooting up in the air as he like kind of walks away or whatever. And uh, it's like, you know what's, what's going to happen now? Ah. The comment section. Fed boy. Fed boy. Who the hell is this guy? The Fed boy. It's, I'm not there anymore, right. guys. I work with awesome guys there. At the same time, not so awesome guys. But I'm a private citizen with Clint now. Making sure there's not a wire, just in case. <laughs> but anyway. That's good to know. Thanks, Kai. I still don't feel comfortable, but it's fine. Anyway, let's move into our next pick. For our third pick, and this one could probably take hours. The Walking Dead, the whole series. There's nothing right. <laughs> season one. <laughs> See, going back early though, yeah. season one and the first couple of episodes, you know what? I think you're better at organizing thoughts better than I am. You just want to kick it off really quick because there's there's guns making sounds that they're not supposed to. There's the bag of guns that somehow he had <laughs> 700 rounds of ammunition in the bag with like again he said like a uh, like over a dozen handguns. He had like you know six shooters, six, six like shotguns, a couple of high powered rifles. He said. No barrels. Yeah, yeah, or the barrels were all like, I mean, you Flat. can tell they're all very fake. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, but if that's what he actually had in that one bag, that is a lot of weight. 700 rounds alone, if you had ammunition for all of that, especially if they were the pistol rounds, yep. which are typically a little bit heavier than, let's say, let's say if they were, I don't know what a high powered rifle is in this case, right? I didn't see exactly what he was talking yeah. about. But, you know what, usually 115 grain if you're talking 9 mil. Maybe Dude. if they're more of his, you know, Smith and Wesson, whatever, but I mean, it's heavy, right? All of this yeah. ammo and everything, bro. But anyway, that was, that was, uh, I mean, there's so much to talk about, but let's talk about the uh, scene, season one, I don't know what episode, but probably early. very early on. They're chasing this car, car flips. Oh whatever. yeah, this is like the very beginning. Yeah. yeah, like three guys or whatever, get out of the car. They're not zombies, so they're actually criminals, whatever, right? Yeah, they're not get dead in, yet. Yep, they're not dead yet. So they get in a gunfight, and uh, before, but before they get in a gunfight, after the car crashes, police officers take cover mm -hmm. behind cars. 
First we see a shotgun. Yeah. Okay, pump, a pump action. I yeah, think we, like see, we see Shane, Mossberg. John Bernthal come out. Yeah, and he's and he brings the shotgun up, and you hear that, <laughs> you know, just like the John Hamm scene. You know, yes, like he yeah. barely moves his hand, and but you know, there's no pumping of the shotgun. The Nothing at all. And he, yeah. he's just standing there. And then right after that, you see this Glock come up with a. And Rick tells him. <laughs> Rick tells him, like, yeah, you know, make sure it's loaded. You check the chamber. There's obviously nothing getting loaded. And then he says, you know, and flip the safety off. Dude, I gotta show it to him. Yeah, I show it to him. And then it's just like, and you're like, where's the? What are you talking about? Yeah. So yeah, here we go. Here we got a Glock. Yeah. He literally does this. So, so you see this? This the follower over here is orange, so which is perfect. Well, yeah, that's true on the later guns because the earlier ones too. I think they were black. Black. So, so but you could see like there's no rounds, right? Yeah. He like literally did this. Like he's like, oh, let me check it, and he does this. Yeah. And it goes forward. Yeah. And then, he does this he on hits. a Glock. He puts the safety down. Yeah, he it's funny because it's like he hits the slide release yeah. as the safety. Yep, does that, which I thought was Of course, funny. when he yeah. presented the Glock, the first thing you heard was hammer. Yeah. Hammer cocking. So that was that. And uh, yeah. I mean, obviously moving forward by himself, leaving cover. Oh, yeah, we left cover and then he allowed the cops, uh, he put himself in between the targets, the potential yeah. targets, and his friendlies. So now they're having to shoot around him to be able to. Don't, Guys, tactically, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> and how about this? He gets shot by the bad guys. I don't know, nine millimeter handgun, whatever it was, right? Some some yeah. handgun, right? Yeah. From the back, and it just blows up about that much, just like oh, it was like a, a 308 a, exit Lisa, wound. Lisa, well, yeah, yeah, Lisa, Lisa, a good little. Yeah. It yeah. is only a flesh wound. They needed a consultant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they needed something. But I will say though, um, they they did make some. Errors, right? Later, like so, in the later seasons, like I've mentioned this one before, the 50 cal and they're chasing and he's getting shot up in the Jeep and it's just making little tiny sparks out of, okay. But anyway, The Walking Dead, the whole series. I think they got one thing right and that was whenever he shot his revolver off inside of the tank or whatever. That's right. And ears were ringing and everything. Yeah. Good job. Good you job. Got, you got that one thing right. Next, for our next up, our number two pick here for Hollywood Mistakes is uh, the movie Hitman. And you know, there's a lot of movies out there that try to do their entire take of the adaptation of the video game or whatever, and they just, it's some, it's just not always a hit. You know, there's, they don't yeah. do that good of a job. I think Silent Hill probably got pretty close, right? Um, but uh, with that being said, in this, we see our Hitman um, getting pretty much chased down in the hotel, right? right? And this team comes in with their breaching tool, and they go, first of all, they go right for the middle of the door. Who goes right for the Fatal middle of the door? Right there. Yeah, you're just sense. gonna. First of all, you're gonna go through the middle of the door, and that's where it's the weakest. So what's gonna happen is you're probably just gonna punch a hole through the yep. door. You always go no for the hate. lock. Yeah. Always go for the lock, you know. Uh, but uh, or you know, depending on the door, you can always go for hinges, whatever, or just C4 it, just blow it up. If there isn't a door, then you don't have to breach it. But uh, you know, true. Anyway, but we see him pull out eventually a couple of 1911s, right? Oh yeah. He goes to his stash. Which is the ice box, ice, ice machine, right? Yeah, that's he goes in. Convenient. He's got nothing on him, right? Not even socks. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's got his pants and shirt, but he doesn't right. even wear, like he's just leaving. I don't see any extra mags. Yeah. Nope. Just grabs it. Yep. And then he takes off, and he encounters a couple of guys, like the bad guys. Yeah. Whatever soldiers, whoever they yeah. are. He shoots again. 1911s are what? Seven rounds plus one. Eight. Well, well, it could be eight plus one. So you could have nine rounds each. All right, let me explain. And I didn't see the extendos. You know, I didn't see any extended base, base plates or anything. So I'll give him 18 rounds. Sure. Okay. 18 rounds. He gets eight rounds, a clip. <laughs> eight rounds of magazine. <laughs> Just felt my soul. <laughs> he gets eight rounds, yes. Eight rounds of magazine, plus one in the chamber. That is nine. Nine, nine is probably, what, 20? Uh, 18. 18. There you go. I'm just trying to see if this guy's going to catch all these things. It's pretty smart. All right, so 18 rounds. What you, is there like an entrance <laughs> exam to get into the FBI? Like, is it? What? Why are you, why are you talking about that again? I'm just, I'm just curious. I mean, what? Anyway, nine plus nine Let's is 18. Go. Nine plus nine, 18 rounds. And he goes out, he sees these couple of bad guys, whatever, soldiers, and he shoots about eight rounds. We counted about yeah, eight. Yeah, it's somewhere, it's somewhere in there. Yes. That initial out of the one gun. Exactly, yeah. just one gun. Yep. The other one has not been fired. Right. But let's just say seven. Okay. I just want to benefit just, of the doubt. Exactly. Yeah. So he's got two left and one gun. Yeah. The one on his left hand. Perhaps. And then perhaps he's got nine. Yeah. Most likely eight. All right. Moving up. 
he goes to an elevator and then he shoots into the elevator from the top of the elevator. Yeah. It, it's like a bunch of soldiers in there. He just yeah, fires just, like so many rounds. Yeah. And again, two rounds left here. Yeah. For some reason, he's able to fire a bunch of rounds. But besides even that, yeah. he runs dry with both guns at the same time. Explain that. Um, well, he pulled him out of his ass. That's right. Probably. <laughs> most likely. And that's it. The creative director did. <laughs> the creative that's right. director did, right. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, you're absolutely right, though. I mean, he's just over here just shooting. That's another issue that Hollywood has is a bunch of rounds. Unlimited ammo. Unlimited ammo. And I will say, as we caveat into our number one, that they do a pretty good job with that in John Wick, right? Okay. Like, like they do a pretty good job with the constant reloads and stuff like that. Like, it makes me happy. And the double taps, like, you know what I mean? Like, good, 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 right? True. You know, and I know there's so many movies that we've missed. Another one that comes to mind with, like, the unlimited ammo is, like, um, Four Brothers. Four Brothers, again, Marky Mark, he's behind yeah. the wall, and the guys with the G36s, cool weapon choices, by the way, in these movies. Uh, but anyway, they're like, you know, he's behind the wall, like, punch through it, and they're just sitting there just hammering the wall. The logic is there. That's cool, but I don't see these dudes reload once until finally he breaks from cover to do his reload. And I'm like, what? makes sense. Perfect why time you, to why do. Would you, why did you do that? Yeah. All right. Anyway, honorable mentions: Four Brothers, uh, in that specific scene. Okay, so John Wick, right? As uh, I've made fun of this scene before, but I'm, I'm just going to bring it up again because this is absolutely ridiculous to be in such a public and highly populated place for him and Common to be shooting at each other with suppressed pistols yeah. just and nobody noticing anything because first of all if you've ever well, that's shot what's supposed to be I'm sorry it's suppressors are supposed to be like so quiet you should not be able to hear anything so that's the difference between a suppressor and a silencer is that a silencer actually silences your gun what thud logic anyway <laughs> that's not at all true <laughs> that's not at all true common names for a singular item okay just Throwing that out there, yes, the technical term is silencer. That's what Maxim called it. But a lot of people like to refer to it as a suppressor because as they've developed in technology, they don't exactly silence Sounds, the yeah. sound, but they do a really good job of suppressing the flash while also suppressing the sound. We're done. Anyway, <laughs> but they're walking, they're shooting up at each other. Like I think, uh, you know, uh, Keanu's down below and he's shooting kind of up and then Common's up high and he's shooting down below and they keep missing each other. But you've got, I don't know if you've ever been next to something being shot, but it's, especially if it's a hard target, right? You've got debris and crap flying all over yep. the place, including the floor, something like that, a wall especially. Mm -hmm. But this dude's like walking by, typically like a column, which usually are hollow and just for looks anyway, yeah. you know? And then all of a sudden, you know, you don't see a bunch of dust and everything flying all over the place. You don't hear this because you would definitely hear this. Or not see it. Yeah. And you know, I don't exactly remember the exact positions but they're semi-auto, right? They're semi-auto, they, do they have it really close to the body? I don't remember the exact scene. So, okay, cool. So at least they were positioned in a place yeah. that wasn't gonna hinder the slide manipulation. So that means nobody was able to see all those guns that are just right in front of them. Yeah, you know, oh. I'm just, whatever. I will say this, though. I will say that a lot of the a lot of society, a lot of people in society are completely oblivious to what's going around them anyway. So that might be my counter argument to the argument that I was making against myself just a moment ago. So I don't know, keep point. your head on a swivel, be observant. Situational awareness at all times. Put it down. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it off at that. Uh, let us know what you guys think about this list. And uh, I'm sure this is gonna be like part one Oh yeah, I'd love to do more of these. Dude, there's so many. I mean, think the, 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 the dual M16s and Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, you know, Ragnarok, which I think is like the best one. Oh, that's no, not Guardians of the Galaxy. Sorry, Thor. Stormtroopers missing every day. Yeah, Stormtroopers missing. Well, I mean, <laughs> look, Kaya, that, I know you haven't seen Star Wars, but that's because the Force was guiding, okay? It was, the Force was with them. The Force was with them. It was okay. guiding the shots to be missed, dude, obviously. I, oh, that makes sense. Nerd. 
Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know down below. Like I said, we're probably gonna make an additional couple of segments to this one because there's a lot of mistakes and movies are gonna keep being made with more mistakes, I'm sure. So um, Amazon, HBO, Sony, Columbia, whoever, if you guys need some consultants, wanna, wanna pay us about six figures a year to you know tell you what you're doing wrong, yep, we got you. Or and we'll just be in it and do it right for you. Whatever. Anyway, cool. Uh, we'll leave it off there, though, guys. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Which movies, TV shows, documentaries, whatever, that have the little clips playing with incorrect gun stuff should be featured in the next one? Let us know. What are some of your favorite scenes from some of the movies that maybe we talked about that did get some things right? Maybe that's the other thing. When Hollywood got it right, right? Because a lot of times they do, actually. So, there you go. Anyway, uh, how about you head on over to ClassicFirearms.com if you want to make it easy, CFContests.com to get your entries in on our current giveaway, the M249S by FN. With the EOTech right on top, this is the paratrooper model with a slightly shorter barrel and, of course, the collapsible stock. And uh, Kai and I had a pretty good time running and gunning with uh, two of these. Uh, so go check out that video. Let us know what you think. Utilize the code word down below to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries. And as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.